Hi, my name is Karthik and I'm from ExecuteAutomation.com and welcome to part 24 of our C Sharp for Automation Testing Advanced Series. And in this video, we'll be talking about anonymous methods. So before watching this part, I would request you to watch part 23 since in that part we discussed about delegates and this particular video is going to be a complete continuation of delegates and only then you can understand what this anonymous method is all about. Alright, so let's get started. Anonymous methods. In versions of C-sharp before 2.0, the only way to declare a delegate was to use the named methods as we did in our previous video where we used the named method for the concrete implementation of print value to call a delegate and perform the operation. But in C-sharp 2.0 introduced what is called as anonymous method and in C-sharp 3.0 and later there was something called as lambda expressions which superseded the anonymous method itself as a preferred way to write the inline code. So we're going to see both of them. We are going to work with anonymous method and also we're going to see how to work with the lambda expression in this particular video. So again, what is the change? What is the breaking change of C sharp 1.0 versus 2.0 and 3.0? It's going to be this. So the existing delegate declaration that we did in our previous video was something like that. We declared a delegate and we implemented a delegate as in the screenshot three, and then we call the delegate using the method something like that in screenshot 2. But now the change is going to be something like this. You can see that we will have a declaration of course, but it is not going to have a concrete implementation as we did in our previous videos, like the print value, a public static void print value, right? Rather it's going to have something called as delegate, the printer p is equal to delegate of the parameter that we have to pass in, and then the implementation itself. And then you can call it as like p of high delegate, something like that. So you can see that we have reduced the concurrent implementation of the method. Rather, we just use the delegate keyword to perform that operation. And this is something which is introduced in C Sharp 2.0. And then comes what is called as lambda expressions. A lambda expression is an anonymous function that you can use to create delegates or expression tree types. By using lambda expression, you can write local functions that can be passed as arguments or written as a value of a function call. So now the code that we were discussing in the previous slide, which is by the delegate keyword, is going to become something like this. You can see that it's going to have a printer p is equal to message, which is in parentheses, and then followed by the lambda expression, which is the uh, is equal to and greater than or less than simple, whatever you call it. And then uh, you will have the console.writeLine method. So it's going to be much, much simpler. You don't really have to use the delegate keyword. You don't really have to pass the string of what argument it is. Rather, you can directly pass something like that. So it is again reduced. And this is very, very preferred way of writing inline code uh, right now. And it is exactly the same thing just adapted in TypeScript. If you have uh, watched my TypeScript fundamental video series in Exit Automation channel, you'll understand that we already did exactly the same thing and they call it what is called as an arrow function. So you can see that here it is pretty much the same thing. L name string and F name of string. It's a, there is a lambda expression or arrow functions and then you can do exactly the same operation there. So that's exactly it is in C sharp as well. Right? So let's quickly see all of them in action and understand how things work. So for that, I'm going to flip to Visual Studio. All right, so this is the same project which we were working in our previous video. And we were facing some issues while we used a different signature for the delegate which we declared. So that's the problem in here. So if you have a separate concrete implementation in one place and if you are calling that particular method to hook in and if it is going to throw us a problem, yes, that's going to be a real problem that we saw in our previous video. So instead of this to eradicate this particular problem, or maybe it's not exact problem it is, but yeah, it is one way of problem. I am going to do what is called as, so maybe I can just do this C-sharp 1.0 and let's go with the C-sharp 2.0 feature, which is uh, delegate 2.0. So here I'm just going to call the same thing. Printer P is equal to, so instead of the delegate try dot print value, which is the concrete implementation, I'm just going to use the delegate string, something like values, and you can see how e easy it is. So I'm just going to call the keyword delegates string of values, and here I'm going to write the console.write line, the value printed 
inline uh, is gonna be okay let's use the feature of C sharp 6 and the values right something like that there we go and now how to call this particular uh, delegate method it's very easy pretty much like what we did in our previous videos which is p of uh, let's call this as execute automation and then if i try to run this particular piece of code you can see that the value printed in line execute automation so this is exactly what is being printed in here right and now I want to show one more thing I forgot to show that if I open the parentheses it is showing you the print value again this print value is not declared in here the delegate rather this is the actual signature of the printer itself that we did for the delegate declaration in our previous video right so that's exactly it is so this is how you can work with a delegate using the delegate keyword instead of the concrete implementation that we did in our previous video right so these are 1.0 legacy features maybe right and the final example is going to be using what is called as a lambda expression again that is very very important because that's the future of uh, c sharp because we are seeing lambda expression in many places even in our last videos we saw while working with the link we were using lambda expressions a lot so basically lambda expression itself is a delegate or a anonymous function right so we're going to see that very quickly here so maybe I'm just going to come on this particular piece of code as well. So you can see that we are progressing right now with delegates from 1.0 of C sharp to 2.0 and now to 3.0. So delegate example of C sharp 3.0. So how we're going to do that again is going to be printer P. But this time what I'm going to do is instead of creating a method something like this uh, or this, I'm just going to create a parameter, something like uh, what is called as values, right? And then I'm going to use what is called as a lambda expression there. And then I'm just going to print the console.write line. And let's write this the value printed from lambda expression is and then you can see that the intelligence will automatically show the values as a local variable there we go so simple it is no this is just one line so you can see that we have reduced the number of code here tremendously it's just one line of code and again calling this bigger uh, method is again easy just p of execute automation save it and execute it you can see the value printed from lambda expression is execute automation right much simpler it is so you can compare the evolution of delegates in 1.0 we have to create a concrete implementation of the method and calling was something like nagging but then in 2.0 they removed that and they created a delegate keyword for the concrete implementation and in 3.0, they also removed the delegate keyword, rather they use the lambda expression for performing this operation, right? And the next one is going to be something more interesting, which is uh, the new feature. Again, instead of using the delegate or lambda expression, we're going to use what is called as a func as well as the action keywords, which is going to be even much better, which is used in the lambda expression a lot. So we're going to discuss that in our next video. So once again, guys, Thank you very much for watching this video and have a great day.